Hey all you jesters and possibly future jesters out there, JJ Jester here and uh, this is part three of the basic of basics when it comes to redstone. So uh, I'm going to go back to some inputs because uh, there are a couple that are very useful and I've even used but I just completely, you know, they completely slipped my mind. Um, let me switch this out here. And this here is, <clears throat> I'm sure you guys probably know if you mess with redstone, if you don't. This here is a trap chest. Trap chests send out a redstone signal when they are open. So this is very useful. I use, I have this you I in use on my PlayStation map that my son and I play a lot. Um, it's hooked to a hole in the floor and a double, a couple double piston extenders, so that when I open this chest, and depending on how it's open, if you open it quick, it's not gonna keep the door open. Um, well, actually, no. If you open it quickly and you open it and close it the door will open um, but if you open it and keep it open and then shut it the door will not it will open and shut but basically it's it's a way of I have to hide my loot because you know you open the chest and close it really quickly the door opens up it also lowers the double piston extenders you go down, throw a couple blocks on a pressure plate there. The pressure plate on the other side is hooked to a door on the other side of the room that's hidden. That opens up. So the pressure plates are, are good because, uh, or the, I'm sorry, trap chests are a good thing to hide doors, um, stuff like that, just because of the fact that if it's in a room full of chests and you're not looking for a trap chest it's very very easy to hide your hidden door like mine it's it's in my room of chests there's 12 14 chests in there so looking for one trap chest in there if you're not looking for it very easy to miss but uh like other like the other chests put a comparator on the back though and you put stuff in it it puts out a redstone signal so that was uh, one of the things that I had forgotten um, let's see not sure can't really oh, there now this one I've actually used and I don't know why I forgot about it Because I made a combination door lock out of cauldrons. So, let's see. We'll get rid of lamps. Actually, no, I'm going to use the lamps. That'll help demonstrate what's going on here. As it's raining, that thing's filling up, which is cool that it's raining, because <laughs> that actually helps. But it's got a little bit of rain, so it's got uh, basically one block lit up. But I'm going to go ahead and help it out here. Hey, I don't even know where I'm looking. Uh, let's see, water. Wait a minute, what did I get that for? I mean, that. Now we got all three. <clears throat> and basically, what happens here is there are three levels, well, there are four levels to a, uh, a, a cauldron. And let me go back to inventory here, swap that out with an empty take all out you got and actually well 
Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. I know what I'll do. Uh, sometimes. Alright. Fill it up. Now we got three. Oops, wrong one. Alright. We got two. We got one. We got zero. So there are four levels that uh, you can use for cauldrons. You got off, you've got low, medium, and high, depending on your four levels of water. Very, very simple, but uh, very useful. Because, I mean, somewhere around here, there is a combination lock that I made doing using cauldrons. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and look through here, make sure there isn't much else that I had forgotten when I could. Well, yeah, there are, there are these, they are inputs. Why did I do that? And basically with these, um, you're going to get I'm pretty sure yeah I'm thinking it's your I don't mess with these things too much but uh, you do get a full your full 15 out of them and then when they are off it's a lot different <laughs> as you can see but uh, yeah these things I have you know I've seen people build stuff with them I haven't used them too much. I think I've used them once. My son uses them a lot. But, uh, they're also use, very useful because daylight sensors are what they are. They're daylight sensors, so they're perfect for sensing day and sensing night. Uh, let's see. Let me go through here. Uh, I basically covered everything when it came to those inputs. Um, there were a few circuits that I had covered yesterday. Um, thinking I'm going to, I want to cover some things on some hoppers. Um, I covered the smaller of the uh, circuits as far as monostables T flip flop um, these are the ones that are probably going to get used the most um, and then you know all you have to do is change them up um, they, they differ a little bit um, pulse extender I'll go ahead and do um, some pulse extenders because uh, those are also very useful See, I gotta think about how to make them again. Uh, put two here. Now you can make. You don't have to make this this wide. It can actually be a one wide design. This is uh, just basic, basic that I'm doing. So you guys can kind of see what's going on where it stays flat. And you guys can actually see what is happening here. <clears throat> now, as you can see, the one tick delay repeaters, they send their signal through. Then the... Uh, signal also goes through the four tick delay repeaters and keeps that signal going 
so you get an extended pulse. Now there are some that you know you can actually um, make this where it lasts a lot longer. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. I don't. I haven't tried any. I haven't done any lately. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What ones have I seen? Trying to think, drawing a blank on pull on. There's some that will last a while, but I don't know. I I'm drawing a blank, but um, when it comes to these things here, uh, there's also I've done in the past. I've done RS nor latches. Uh, let's see trying to make now that we've got other redstone I'm gonna try and make something yeah we got two blocks there come on get rid of those um, dispenser dropper that's what I want Okay, now we got a basic match here, put some comparators here, and let's see, we'll go ahead and put a block in, actually can't do that, we'll go ahead and put a repeater there so this one doesn't light up, uh, let's send that one over to there, now we get that. Now to make this a resetting one, very simple. And that, in case you guys didn't know, that is what RS means. It is reset. Uh, wait a minute, I'm missing something here. Should have sent that over there, but it did not. Oh, uh, it's it's not going to right now. All right. Let's see here. That's a failed design. That was something I never tried. I figured I'd give it a shot. Alright. We'll do an RS Norlatch that's fairly simple. Even though it uses old, it seems like old technology. I still use it when I got the room to do it. button on one of them. And I'll go ahead and swap that around. Let's see. We're going to need to send signal back into this one here when it comes on. Put those on four ticks. So you can get a nice long delay. I'll wipe this torch out. Whoops. Not cool. There we go. 
All right. Yeah, no, that's not what I wanted. I mess with these things, but all right. Basically, this is an RS Nor latch, simplest of forms. You hit it, it resets, and that about covers those. Um, Nor latch basically, all you have to have is these two. And this is just a, a, a basically a memory cell. I've covered these in the past. And, oops, not that. They're basically identical. They don't have to look identical. You can actually set these up differently. And put some buttons on here and basically that's all it is it just goes back and forth it keeps the signal and holds it until you reset it and that is why they are memory cells because they are two separate things that actually two separate parts that actually keep the signal and hold it until you decide to reset it or where it becomes an RS and it resets itself. Very, uh, I, I still use these things. In that world that I have the trap chest in, my front or my uh, door leading down to my crafting area, my nether room, my chest room, that stairway is uh, blocked by a door that's on an RS nor latch. And actually, I have two two doors in there that are that use RS nor latches, and they are this setup. They are basically this setup here, but uh, they can be smaller. You don't need this many torches or this many repeaters. I'm sorry. Um, uh, let's see, but uh, again, they are useful even though they are. They use the old redstone. They are they are primitive, um, but they are useful. And I know there are uh, there are other RS nor latches. I'm just drawing a blank. I mean, um, I use this one. I, well, I I was messing around and just happened to come up with this one one day. Um, let me see what else. Um, basically, there you can do um, you can do the RS nor latches without. Like I've used this in a uh, well in my creative base, um, my creative redstone base. I have it set up. Where the buttons are just on the thing here, that's all you have to do. Oops. Then just drop a comparator. Don't want it to connect, so just do that, that. Put a block in. Send it over to the other side. Or not. I guess I don't want to. <laughs> there is a block in there and yet it does not want to move. That is interesting. Huh. Well, we'll fix that. Oops.
technically that's the way it's set up in my redstone base with blocks on top, but just a simple RS nor latch to reset a door, reset anything that you know you might need to reset after using. But um let's see let me get into some hopper stuff I have done a hopper one before um, when people after I did my I, I built the I did my video on the uh, automatic sorting um, system uh, people are asking me or one one person asked me about a hopper about hoppers so I went ahead and did a whole nother video on hoppers I'm going to try and cover everything that I can think of when it comes to hoppers. Uh, let's see, two up, hoppers, let me see, hoppers are fantastic in the fact that like I had showed, shown over there, you can make a switch with them, but uh, main use for people that just want to use them they're meant to flow items that's it and my automatic smelting yeah you know, that's what everybody uses them for is the smelting to make automatic smelting um, but that's one of their main uses um, let's see we'll get rid of this However, hoppers do have another use. Well, they actually have a lot more uses, but... Items will flow in. No problem. Or actually, I'll do it this way. As you can see, they're flowing in no problem. I'll go ahead and take those. So, all right. However, put that under power and try it again. Nothing's going to happen because that call the hopper has just become locked. It will not unlock until. Uh, till deactivated by an outside source. Now when that button, when that torch shuts off, that's when things are allowed to flow in. Um, that is how basically an automatic sorting system can work. Because let's see, we'll drop, put that back, that, that there. Um, duh, 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 duh. I'm gonna need some blocks over here. I'm gonna put enough, make it easy on myself. This is your. This here will be the hopper filter. This is what determines what gets in and what does not. Remember, if you watched my video yesterday, 22 items sends out the appropriate signal. No more because of this setup. This setup, you only need it to go to power two blocks. And when you add the 23rd item, it powers a third block. That's what you need. And we can't do like PC and console where we just add randoms, where we can just add one item. We have to kind of add things like that. It's no biggie. Just sometimes it can be a pain in the butt. Alright. Now, here is the two items, or your two, your two blocks. It's going to stay with that. Oops, put the torch on the wrong side. <laughs> Alright. 
Now, if I was to add, and I gotta add more blocks because it done moved everything on me. And I gotta, well, there's already one in there. I'll leave one. Do have to leave one in there because otherwise it will do it anyway. So just best to put one in there. Now we got 18 in there, 22 total, add a 23rd, it runs the cycle, turns the repeater on, turn the torch off, unlocking the hopper, allowing one to flow through. That is one of the big, big uses for hoppers, is automatic sorting, it makes things so much easier. Um, let's see, hoppers, let's see, um, oh, let's go ahead and try to figure out how I want to set this up. here we'll do that and put a chest now in order to do this you have to be in crouch mode um, in order for this to work properly all the little flanges at the bottom have to be pointing towards the other the one in front of it now it is possible to go in all different directions with these things as long as you are connected to the one in front of it. Because I mean, if I wanted to take that one out, have one pointing in my direction and bring them all back this way and have the chest right in front of here. Uh, they're very useful. They can cost a lot because they're pretty pricey to craft in survival, but um, it's useful when you want to get stuff from point A to point B and just want to drop it in a chest and go because that is what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I completely forgot. Okay, that didn't work. What the heck? Yeah, it doesn't really matter which way it's pointing. Okay, chest, gone. Those, those. All right, we need that. We need that. And just bring it on over. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do crouch mode again. All right, now, a new addition that we have gotten, and I've found many, many uses for it, because I've never used these things before. And I don't even have one. I don't know what I'm talking about. And now you, it'll work with... You don't have to use the, the hopper. Um, I guess I, I, I'll go ahead and use the chest. So we'll go ahead and add some items. That goes through, shuts our thing off. Sends it on, whoop, sends it on its way, and that did not shut off like it should. There it goes. Do I have anything left in there? No, I don't. Why is it not turning on? Interesting. Oh, whoops. Actually pointed it towards the comparator. I probably shouldn't have. 
All right. That was a goof. Don't know why I did that, but we'll fix it.